I'm Kimar Roach. This is my story, and this is who I am. And this is a wonderful start to his innings. Who is Kimar Roach? <laughs> Private, um, very quiet, um, but I do tend to get out and have some fun. I love to laugh around people that, you know, I grew up with, people that I'm, I trust. So I express myself in different ways, determined of the, um, the environment. But other than that, I'm just a normal, normal guy. Success for Kimaruch here once again. My earliest memory of cricket is obviously growing up in the north of the island in Barbados, running around on the field pretty close to home, just chasing balls and returning them to the guys that were bowling and batting. So I wasn't really a, a part of it, but I helped out in any way I could. So that is probably my, my earliest memories of cricket. Clean them up. It's a nice wicket by Kimar Roach. Who got me into cricket? I would say kinda my stepfather at the time, my stepdad. He always took me to this game. He used to play when he was younger. He took me to the games and I always watched and you know, I try to learn from him as much as I can. And slowly but surely, I started to fall in love with it. And then I wanted to play and obviously partake. So I would say that he definitely got me involved in the game. Ah! I knew I wanted to make it my career when I first got to my secondary school, which was Alexander School. My coach at the time, Peter Vaughan, he saw the talent in me. And then he encouraged me to just keep practicing, keep working at my game and obviously, start to fall in love with the sport at that time and it went from there and I'm, now I'm, I reached the highest point you can be in test cricket and it's been a pretty decent career. Well, Kima Roach, once again. On the pitch, yeah, I'm a business guy. I take pride in my career. So when I walk on the field, it's all about getting the job done. Within the team plans, obviously within your plans as well. Just go out there, put your best foot forward, and, and obviously enjoy the sport. That's, that's, that's the kind of guy I am. True and true, the Kima Roach. The biggest influences on my career will have to be my secondary school coach, Mr. Peter Vaughan, and a former West Indies fast bowler in Corey Callamore. I think those guys played a very, very major part in my career. Um, the advice they gave me, sometimes the bowling shoes they gave me. I think Corey gave me my first ever pair of bowling shoes and you can't forget that. So I think those two guys are definitely a bit of a big, big part in my career. Beautiful delivery, Kima Woj. Morals and values. For me, it's about treating each other with respect. I look up to individuals. I respect their positions, wherever, whoever they are. It could be a janitor, it could be a CEO. I give anyone and everyone respect. So that's definitely my moral and my value. That man, Kima Woj, can't keep it off the action. No. I didn't expect to play as long as I have when I started my career in 2008. Because the circumstances I came into the team was a very uncomfortable one. But, you know, there was a plan for me from the career up above, and he allowed me to have a very fruitful and prosperous career. I'm very proud of what I've done and where I've re reached so far in, in, in my career. And I'm looking to play as long as I can and to just be involved and help wherever I can, so I'm looking forward to the latter years of my career as well. And Kimaru celebrates. My biggest achievement in my career to date will have to be my 200th wicket against England um, in Manchester. I think I'm the first fast bowler in, like I said, 14 years, I think, to actually reach that feat. And it's an amazing feeling. It was very emotional for me. I know all the hard work I've put in, all the experience I've been through with, in terms of injuries and stuff. So. For me, it was a very emotional feeling and it was a really good feeling as well. Still taking wickets for the West Indies in my reach. My favourite team achievement would have to be the England series at home in 2018. I thought the guys played out the skins to beat. At that time, I think England was number two in the world. And they came with a very strong team to the Caribbean and you know how hard it is to be in. I thought the guys played out the skins and we did it. Have a really, really have a good series. Came out on top. This man, Kima Roach, has been impressive in the last couple of years. My greatest lesson in my career would have to be hard work gets you anywhere. I think the amount of work you put in, always you always reap the rewards at the end. You may not see it at the time, but in the future, it always comes back and 
rewards you in some way. So hard work for me is definitely lesson learned. For me, the lowest point of my career would have to be when I got dropped from the team in 2015. At that time, it was very low in confidence and to get that call saying that you're not selected for the next tour was pretty devastating, pretty heartbreaking. So eventually for me, I just picked myself up and came back in and obviously worked harder and obviously try to keep myself in the squad as long as I can. And I think I've been doing pretty well since then. Injuries has also been a very low point in my career. I've, I've been through a couple, ankle, back, hamstrings, shoulder, I actually broke my shoulder. It's hard to be coming back from injuries, doing that therapy and it's, it's, it's all mental. Sometimes you want to give up, but there's, you know there's a bigger picture on why you're playing a sport. So you always keep coming back. You always keep putting that foot forward and obviously giving your best. So yeah, that's probably one of the hardest points as well in my career. Be my watch, very experienced. My advice to any young person coming into wrestling cricket is believe in yourself first. Be prepared to work hard because without hard work, you can't achieve anything great and give it your best, give it your all, give it your 100%. Enjoy the sport, but when you walk on that field for the West Indies, it's all about serious business. And that man, Kim Aroch, the leader of this West Indies fast bowling attack. I would love to accomplish a few more records, surpassing some of the greats, some more wickets for the West Indies, a couple more series wins, but definitely put the icing on my cake for my career. And, you know, just to see the West Indies team in the top five again in Test Cricket it will definitely be a great achievement for me to obviously be a part of that and helping those guys to get to that stage. They've formed a formidable unit for the West Indies with the ball. My favourite bowling partner in my career, I've had a few, but to honestly, I was have to say Shannon Gabriel. We've had a fantastic relationship on and off the field. Um, we get along really well, uh, we understand each other and I think that's what helps us getting on the field and performing for the West Indies. I think that camaraderie we have is, is unmatchable, so he'll definitely be my favorite bowling partner. Well, Kima Roach, once again. If I wasn't a cricketer, I would probably be an athlete, a runner. I first started into sprinting um, for my school and then a couple of clubs, but yeah, I, I figured if I wasn't a cricketer, I'll probably be the next Usain Bolt. Or I'll be better than you, sir, but you never know. <laughs> Kima Roach recognizing the fear factor that you can instill as a fast bowler. Ah, oh, my gold chain. Um, it was a gift and I've, I've got it blessed from someone very important to me. Ever since I stepped on the field for the West Indies, it was always around my neck. So I look at it as a superstitious little thing. Like I can't leave without it. I feel naked if I don't have it on. So for me, it's very, very, very precious. So there's a lot more to it, but I wouldn't really give you the insights. They'll perhaps name one of the stands after him on this Vivian Richards Stadium in time to come. I would like my legacy to be remembered as someone who, who worked really hard, who gave his all to the team, who was always there willing to help, and obviously lend our advice. That's, that's what I would love to hear when I leave in my career. He's still very consistent, Kima Roach. If I could give a 14-year-old Kima Roach some advice, it would be, be careful. Great things are ahead for you. You just have to be positive and accept all challenges and just enjoy what is coming ahead. That's what Kima Roach can do. 